Welcome, tech enthusiasts, to my channel. Is it true? As giants in the tech industry compete in the semiconductor manufacturing race, a piece of news has sent shockwaves across the globe. Recently, the Dutch company ASML successfully delivered the first 2 nanometer NM lithography machine, capturing the industry's attention, especially TSMC's chairman, Zhang Zhongmo. International media even described the pressure and challenges he faces as breaking Zhang Zhongmo's heart. TSMC, a global leader in semiconductor foundry, has long dominated the industry. However, a combination of factors, including advancements in lithography technology, breakthroughs by domestic companies like Huawei, and national policy orientation, presents unprecedented challenges to TSMC. Firstly, let's understand why this news is so significant. The lithography machine is a core device in the chip manufacturing process, responsible for creating intricate circuit patterns on wafers, determining the chip's fabrication process. ASML, the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer, has consistently driven the development of lithography technology. The latest 2 nanometers lithography machine represents the pinnacle of technology, enabling the production of even smaller and more advanced chips. ASML, holding an absolute dominance in the lithography machine market, has always considered TSMC a major customer. However, ASML recently officially delivered the first NAEUV lithography machine to Intel, not TSMC. Among the 10 planned NAEUV lithography machines scheduled for delivery in 2024, six will be provided to Intel. This implies a potential challenge to TSMC's leading position in EUV lithography machines, which could affect the progress of its 2 nanometers chips. Simultaneously, it highlights ASML's emphasis on emerging markets like Intel, putting TSMC under the pressure of technological competition. In other words, the news of ASML successfully delivering the 2 nanometers lithography machine poses a significant challenge to TSMC and the entire semiconductor industry. ASML has consistently held an absolute dominance in the lithography machine market, with its technology at the forefront of the industry. The company not only commands over 90% of the market share but is also the sole manufacturer capable of providing the most advanced extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines. EUV technology is considered crucial for the future of semiconductor manufacturing as it can produce 2 nanometers or even smaller chips. ASML's lithography machines have become a scarce resource fiercely sought after by major chip manufacturers, with high prices and waiting times of several years. However, for foundries like TSMC, the allocation of ASML's lithography machines has become a sensitive issue as it relates to the technological progress and market competition of various chip manufacturers. Recently, ASML delivered a shocking message it has already delivered the first 2 nanometers lithography machine to Intel, indicating that Intel will have the capability to produce 2 nanometers chips ahead of TSMC in other foundries. For TSMC, this is undoubtedly a heavy blow, as it implies that its leading edge in chip fabrication may be caught up with or even surpassed by Intel. Although TSMC is also researching the 2 nanometers process, Without obtaining ASML's lithography machine, it may face technological bottlenecks and insufficient capacity issues. Moreover, Intel might use the 2 nanometers lithography machine to produce higher performance chips, potentially taking away TSMC's customers, such as Apple and AMD. Despite TSMC establishing new foundries in the United States to gain support and orders from the U.S. government, it may have lost favor with ASML, Huawei, as a leading company in the domestic communication equipment and smartphone manufacturing sector, has actively developed its own chip technology in recent years. 
commercializing a series of self-developed Kirin chips and planning to further increase the volume of chip listings in 2024, Huawei, originally having TSMC as the manufacturer for Kirin chips, has now begun independent manufacturing in China, no longer handing chip orders to TSMC. This shift marks a breakthrough in the domestic industry chain, with other domestic manufacturers increasing their production capacity for mature process chips, rapidly boosting the rise of the domestic chip industry chain. Moreover, the promotion of self-sufficiency in chip production by China and the United States may impact TSMC with a reduction in orders, while domestic manufacturers benefit from the push of national policies. The demand for mature process chips is increasing, but TSMC faces more competition in this regard, as domestic chip manufacturers enhance their production capacity. In conclusion, this competition involves not only the leading position in chip fabrication but also various aspects such as market share, customer resources, and brand influence. Zhang Zhengmo and TSMC will have to make effective responses in technological innovation, customer maintenance, market expansion, etc., to retain their kingpin position. This also intensifies the attention of ordinary tech enthusiasts to the competition in the semiconductor foundry field, as it will determine the performance and availability of the chips we use in the future. TSMC is not without opportunities. With decades of rich experience and high technological capabilities, TSMC is expected to find new development opportunities in the global chip market. Faced with great changes, TSMC needs to maintain confidence, strengthen technological innovation, flexibly adjust strategies, continuously enhance competitiveness, and embrace the new era of the chip industry. In the future, we will continue to follow the significant changes in the global chip market, witnessing a new chapter for TSMC in the fierce competition. Finally, regarding these challenges, I offer the following suggestions to TSMC. 1. TSMC should intensify efforts in independent research and development and technological innovation, not only catching up in lithography machine technology, but also maintaining a leading position in chip manufacturing technology. 2. Diversify the market, expand international partnerships, reduce excessive dependence on a single market, and lower risks. 3. In response to national policy orientation, proactively adjust strategies, increase research and development, and production of mature process chips to ensure a competitive position in the domestic market. 4. Strengthen cooperation with partners, especially key suppliers like ASML, to ensure timely access to advanced technology. In conclusion, let me summarize for our readers. I hope you've gained some insights and reflections. After unveiling the intricate veil of chip fabrication, this technological battle has brought us many insights and thoughts providing a deeper understanding of the future of technological development. Firstly, technological innovation is the core of industrial competition. ASML's successful delivery of the 2 nanometers lithography machine not only signifies rapid technological progress but also prompts a re-evaluation of the global semiconductor industry. This leads us to ponder whether, for enterprises, Increasing independent research and development and continuous technological innovation are the keys to standing undefeated in fierce market competition. Secondly, diversifying the market and international cooperation are crucial to maintaining a stable position. In a globalized context, companies need to continuously expand international partnerships, reduce excessive dependence on a specific market, and lower risks. For industry giants like TSMC, adapting to changes in national policy orientation and flexibly adjusting strategies are also crucial. Additionally, transparent communication and deep cooperation facilitate the coordinated development of industries. The video mentioned deep cooperation with key suppliers like ASML, ensuring timely access to advanced technology.
This teaches us that transparent communication and deep cooperation between companies can bring more opportunities in intense competition, collectively addressing industry transformations. Lastly, national policies have a significant impact on industrial development. With China and the United States advocating increased self-sufficiency in chips, companies need to flexibly adjust strategies, align with the direction of national policies, and ensure a competitive position in the domestic market. This reminds us that national policies play a guiding role in the development of the technology industry, directly impacting the direction of enterprise development. In the future technological storm, each change is an opportunity and a challenge. As technology enthusiasts, we are fortunate to witness this new chapter in the global chip market. So, who do you think will have the last laugh in this technological battle? Will TSMC rise again and maintain its kingpin position, or will other companies usher in a new wave of industry transformation? Share your thoughts in the comments, and let's explore the new changes in the global chip market together. Together.